Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's go and take a look at some good iPhone apps to start with when you get a new iPhone. So I get asked this question a lot. Just got a new iPhone, what app should I get to start with? Well, there's so many to choose from. There are more than 40,000 apps in the store and a lot of them are junk. But there are some really good ones and some ones that are free that you can just load on right away. So here's my recommendations for 11 apps to start off with when you get your new iPhone. Best of all, they're all free. So Amazon Mobile is a handy little app from Amazon.com where you can quickly search their database of products, find out what their price is for something, and also read user reviews. It's really handy to have with you when you're out shopping or even when you're somewhere and you get an idea of something you want to add to your wish list. Without adding a single ounce to what you're carrying, you can have an entire dictionary with you. The Dictionary.com app allows you to search your dictionary, look up definitions, has a thesaurus, and even has word pronunciations. Most people have a Facebook account and there's a free Facebook app you can download that gives you access to almost everything in your account and allows you to easily update your status, even post pictures. While you can look up movie times and information on the Safari web browser, I find this Flickster app is a really quick way to do it. Usually I can beat anybody to find out the next showtime of a movie in a local theater. It uses your location and quickly gets you the information you want. Google has a great app that allows you to search the local Google directory using just your voice. So you can just speak into it like restaurant or pizza and it will give you the results. Who needs an entire other device when you can have a Kindle on your iPhone? The free Kindle app not only allows you to read books that you purchased from Amazon but also allows you to read their sample books as well. If you're in the US, AT&T has an app that allows you to have direct access to your AT&T account, check your usage, check your bills, things like that. So Simple Draw is a really simple free app that basically allows you to touch your screen and draw on it. While it's really basic, it's a lot of fun. It allows you to quickly get a thought down and save it as an image to your iPhone and it's also a lot of fun if you have kids. Evernote is a free notes program that automatically syncs wirelessly with the same named program on your Mac. So if you add a note to Evernote on your iPhone, it almost instantly appears on your Mac. You can also take photos and even leave voice notes. It's very handy. And finally, we've got two reviews apps. One is called Urban Spoon, which will show you restaurants that are nearby and give you reviews. And the other one is Yelp. Both of these give great reviews of things according to your location. Yelp goes beyond just restaurants, but Urban Spoon actually has really neat features like people can take pictures of menus at restaurants and post them to Urban Spoon. So both of these are free apps and great additions to have on your iPhone. So there are 11 free and very useful apps that you can add to your iPhone right away. I'm going to put links to each one of these in the post for this episode at MacMost.com, so look for them there. Also at MacMost.com, you'll find a section for iPhone apps. It's MacMost.com slash iPhone apps. You can search for apps there and you can also go and see what's new and what's updated. And in addition, every week in our weekly newsletter, we feature a new useful iPhone app. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <music>